Hey guys, how's it going? Carl Norman from carlnorman.co.uk and carlnormanconsulting.com. Um, this was part of my vlog series. Um, I didn't do a video yesterday. I put a post up with regards to um, positive thinking and um, strategies to obviously help you uh, with regards to um, just trying to put certain things in order. And um, I got quite a lot of feedback from people saying, okay, well, if you wanted to achieve something and you wanted to do something, then then how would that look? How would you structure it? So first and foremost, this is this is what I do with with any um with anything new, I always have a system. So the system is is that I go out and I buy one of these books. Okay. So I've got quite a lot of these. And then basically what I do is that I it's got like a little sleeve in it. Um and every time that I open the sleeve uh, or open the book for the first time, that's the first thing that hits me. So this one obviously I've put some um I've put some motivational sort of a little post in there. You can't have a million dollar dream with a minimum wage ethic. Um I've put a little thing about with networking because I love networking with people. I think to be fair that that's probably um, one of the most successful things that you can more than likely do. Um, the second thing is, or the third thing is, is again, is that I write down my personal goals. So whatever it is, whatever the structure is, whatever it is that I want to do, then I've got to write out the goals for whatever's intended. And that's got to be done in a positive manner as well. So uh, I've listed uh, several goals that I wanted to do. Again, I'm not going to share them with you. Simply, I just want to show you the structure. But what I've done is, that, as I say, that's the first thing. So I open it. The first thing that I see is obviously is the motivational stuff. Um, the second thing that I do is obviously I see personal goals, which are written there. And then what I do, depending on obviously the goals, is I structure those in such a way that they are systematic. So on the second page I've put here, what I genuinely need to do on a day-to-day -day basis to make the goals that I've put down in a positive manner, the words that I use. And sometimes I use words like as if they're already created. So I've already achieved the goals as well. Um, again, it just sends a, a mental message to say that, you know what, you've got this, you can do this. And if you put it in a future tense that you've already completed it. For me, it, it works massively. For every client that I've ever done, it always works with them. So something to think about when you're actually writing it down. So yeah, so what I've done is I've put all of those down and on two pages. But I don't know whether you can see, but there's several little tabs here. Um, and what I do is I put whatever the structure is. So with regards to one of these, one of them was building a team up uh, for isogenics. And some of the things that I need to do to do that, uh, obviously, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at social media, which is the first one. Uh, I've put Facebook on there, and then I've, I've list things down, which are obviously important. So I don't know whether you can see there, but I've got videos. Um, I've got daily posts, motivational posts. I've got exercise routines. I've got motivational memes, live videos, recipes, and paid adverts. And then also, I've got Instagram. Again, I'm using the social media that will work for me. So if you guys are embarking on something brand new and something that you want to achieve, and if it's something that's linked with getting out there and speaking to other people, then I can highly recommend that social media is definitely one of those things that you need to do. Now, a couple of these tabs are not filled until I get right to the last one. And what I do on the last one is to write down at least 10 day-to-day -day goals, something that I want to achieve in the day. Um, I put little things in there as well to remind me that, um, again, it's a journey. It's something that I'm on. It's, it's, it's about longevity. It's not something that's going to happen overnight. If you, know, if you equate something to like a diet and you think, okay, yeah, you know what? I want to achieve this in a particular time. Again, you've got to ask yourself, is it realistic? We go back to the smart goals and stuff like that. So again, what I've done is I looked at in my head, I don't need even to write this down. And when I'm looking at a, a smart goal scenario, 
I want to be really specific. So I don't particularly need to write the SMART goals down. What I need to do is I just need to write the actual goals down, what it is that I want to achieve. Because I've got up here with regards to, well, is it specific? Is it measurable? Um, what action do I need to take? I know that I need to do that. Is it a reasonable time scale? Um, so yeah, so they're all things that are already in, in there. I don't need to go over them really in particular. But if it helps you, then maybe on your first page is write down your SMART goals. So yeah, so there's a list of things there that obviously I need to go through on a day-to-day -day basis. Each and every single day, two things that I do. First thing when I wake up in the morning, obviously look at the goals that need to be achieved in that day. Last thing in the night time is that I'll look at those goals again and I see if I've achieved all of those goals. And as I go through them, I literally just mark them off. Of a night time before I go to bed again is that I'll look at them and I'll look at maybe what it is that I need to achieve tomorrow. I believe that the subconscious brain is massively powerful. So therefore, listening um, to yourself with regards to the words that you use um, and, and letting that sink into your brain so that, again, it can manifest overnight. I don't know that might sound all woo-woo, but I genuinely believe in it. I genuinely believe that there's a certain amount that your conscious brain can understand but there's also a massive amount that your subconscious brain, which is stored at the back, or actually just centre, it's round about here, um, but right in the centre of your brain where your subconscious thoughts are, is that you can draw from them at any time. So if you go to bed with a thought, and it's obviously it's a good thought, let your brain work it out, chances are when you wake up the following morning, and again, I've done this a lot of times, um, when you wake up the following morning, is that those answers will more than likely come to you, and you'll feel a lot more refreshed, um, again, first thing in the morning again, I'll look at those goals if I need to go through any of them from the night before. Again, I'll reconfirm them and I'll write them out again. And I'm looking at about between 10 and 15 goals that I need to do in a day. So, that's my system. Whether that system will work for you, I don't know. I mean, I even find writing it down, um, writing it down on, on, on paper is much more beneficial than actually writing it down um, on a computer or on an iPad or even on the phone. I think when I write it down, I'm really careful the way that I write down. I'm not the neatest person in the world, but I really try my best to make it as neat as I possibly can. It works for me and it's something that I can follow. It's a workflow that just helps me hugely when it comes to creating a strategic plan to help myself. And it's something that I work with with clients. So if a client is on a health and fitness sort of path and a journey, is that again, I'll take them through this. Um, not, not so much maybe on the first sort of uh, sort of consultation, but certainly the second and the third consultation, we'll start to build things up and we'll start to go through it and again, manifest um, those things that they want in their life. And, and, and if any of you guys believe in the law of attraction, then we have to do things. It's the action thing that's actually missing in the law of attraction because we can sit there all day and we can manifest things till the cows come home. Unless we actually get out there and do stuff, then nothing's really going to happen. It's not going to happen if we're sitting on the couch and we're just expecting or expecting everything to come to us. So, guys, if uh, if you want to achieve something or you want to become part of my team, uh, as you know, I'm getting involved with Isogenics. I'm going to a meeting tonight in Manchester. Then get yourself one of these. Contact me if I can help you in any way, shape, or form then I surely will. So in the meantime, guys, have an awesome day. That's my accountability. Hopefully that it helped you. If it has, then give me a thumbs up, give me a like, share the video. I'd really massively appreciate it. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.